So much so that I'm going to do. I thought it was really good. My name is Matt Edwards. Hi, Matt. Hello. Where are you from? Where are you from, Matt? I'm from uh, Suffolk. Suffolk? Great. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 34. 34. Do you have a day job? Um, I... <laughs> do I look young? Um, yeah, I, uh, I'm a magician, is what I do for my day job. Oh, lovely. So tell us something about you that makes you different from other magicians that we may have seen on the show. <laughs> um... <laughs> I think the, what makes me different from other magicians is um, the type of magic I perform isn't necessarily sleight of hand. It's a little bit uh, crazy, a little bit variety, I would say. Mm. Mm. It's like the sound of that. All right, well, we look forward to your act. Good luck. So I do it now? Yeah. It's lovely to meet you all. Um, my name is Matt. What's your name? Brilliant, that's enough. Now, I've only got like a minute to show you what I can do. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to perform a trick. Uh, but before I do my trick, I'm going to propose a toast. I want to say cheers to everybody. Um, so, when I say cheers, everybody in the audience shouts... Cheers! Perfect, amazing. Now, uh, because uh, I've only got a minute, I'm going to give this a big build-up in the hope that everyone claps really loudly and then all the ladies take off their bras and throw them in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, you, Alicia. <laughs> Worth a try. So, um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Señores y señores, bienvenidos a la Britain's Got Talent de esta noche, si me va la tequila. <laughs> Rachel, I'm an AG. <laughs> <laughs> Said Lee Evans and magic. I do. Yeah. What's this? Might well. I forgot the soul. Gotta have soul. Oh. Tequila. I forgot the soul. I'm fine, I'm fine. Ha, ha, ha. 
to present a magic trick. It's good. I love when people push jokes as far as they possibly can go until they almost break. It was very funny, very entertaining. It was brilliant. Well done. Thank you. Amanda? Yeah, I mean, I really loved it. It was sort of silly how Tommy Cooper used to do it. You know, you're so distracted by you clowning and messing about that we're not paying attention to what you're actually doing, so therefore it's even more magical. I really love you. I think you're charming, I think you're funny, and you're kind of old school with a twist, which is absolutely perfect for Britain's Got Talent. Well done. Simon? I've got to be honest with you, Matthew. You know, when you start with that voice, I thought it's going to be really annoying. But actually, you are brilliant. I mean, really, really funny. And how old are you, 34, did you say? 34. Okay, I'm surprised you haven't had a break yet, Matthew, because you're Good really likable and nuts. Um, you've just got something about you, it's your energy. This is what we look for on these shows, people who've got star quality. I've just got a feeling about you. Thank you so much. Good to know. It's good. Really good. I agree, Matthew. Love your passion and enthusiasm. Right, we're going to take a vote, David. Oh, they've got the vote. I'm going to say yes. Yeah, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Excuse hold on. Me. I wasn't expecting that. Honestly, we were laughing so much, I thought I was going to pee myself. <laughs> <laughs> really funny. No, but, well deserved. Honestly, we love the act, and then Simon, you said it. He's 34 years old, and for some reason, he hasn't been given the break up until yeah. now. And so we just wanted to be, be there and do it. Honestly, very good. Well done. Funny. Really good. Really good. Really good. Love it. Yes! Oh. That's a good one. Yeah! He picked a good one! I like him. I've got to tell you, Matt. They were absolutely on the money. This is what it's all about. Dreams come true. Good for you. He deserves it, man. Look at that. Look at that. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Loved it. Oh my Honestly, God. that oh was just. Oh I haven't seen wow. energy in a routine like that for years. Tell us you've got those moments. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just the song. I've got so much that I'm ready to show the world. Good. Thank you so much for the opportunity You're to show you. You're welcome, man. You're live straight through the semi finals. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> 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 I knew you'd do it. I knew you'd do it. <laughs> Hi, girls. Hi, and who are you? We're just us. Yeah. <laughs> no, I said, who are you? Oh, I'm Julia. I'm Annie. I'm Alice. <laughs> I'm Poppy. I'm Becky. Now tell me the name of the group. Just, just us. <laughs> Where are you all from? The Wirral. The Wirral. 
I've watched Britain's Got Talent like all my life and I've always like dreamt of being on it. So like sitting here is like pretty amazing. <laughs> I'm like shaking. Yeah. <laughs> just Us was actually made a couple of years ago. We were all at Poppy's house. We were just dancing in the garden and then that's when we decided to make a group. No one's ever gonna come between our friendship and that's why it's just us. We've been practicing for weeks now, haven't we? Night after night, hours and hours. We were practicing in our garden for our dance, and it was like midnight, and my mum had to scream at us to get in. It was like, stop dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to get the dance right for each other and for ourselves and for all our family who have come to watch today yeah. and just everyone. Fingers crossed, guys. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about you guys, how you met. Well, we've met at dancing because we've been dancing together since we were about five. Yeah. But this group came together because I've got scoliosis, so... Sorry, darling, what is that? Scoliosis is like a curvature of the spine. Right. My one's quite rare because it's more common to, like, have an accident and get it, but I was born with it. So I have to have surgery soon. And after surgery, I won't be able to dance, so this is, like, my last chance because I've always wanted to do Are it. Are you serious? Yeah. You've got an amazing attitude, I've got to tell you. Thank you. You really have. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you Thank so you much. I'll bless her. Like a small boat on the ocean, sending big waves into motion. Like how a single word can make a heart open. I might only have one match, but I can make an explosion. And all those things I did. David? Well, it was absolutely stunning performance. Obviously, when you told us that story, we were all hoping and praying it would be fantastic, but it, it so far exceeded all our expectations. It's a beautiful story about friendship and a, and a stunning performance. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Yeah, absolutely. And your friendship and strength together is just fantastic. It's lovely to watch. Yes. And it was an amazing dance routine. Alicia. I'm into, I have so much admiration for you girls right now. I can't tell you 
and just, just seeing how you all come together with this beautiful friendship that you've got when you're passionate about something. I could not imagine not being able to ever do that again. I really couldn't. And you know, and that's that's what we all well, why we all live for the for the things that we love to do. It really touched me um, so much so that I'm going to do. the kind of person who's got determination regardless of what happens. He's not going to stop me. <laughs> See you in the finals. <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> you look happy. I am. I'm, I'm quite delighted. Hello. Uh, what's your name? It's, my name is Deliso, Deliso Chaponda. That's an amazing Chaponda. name. That's a Malawian name. I'm Malawian. Really? Yes. So I'm from Malawi, but I live in Manchester. Why have you come on Britain's Got Talent? I've come to, to make the people laugh. I am a comedian. Oh, and yes! I, I'm a comedy writer. I would love the winner of Britain's Got Talent this year to be a comedian. Oh, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> Who are you here with? So I'm here just alone. I, I, my brother, no, no, he wanted to come. He's a doctor. And he was like, either I should save lives or come with you. Were your parents disappointed that one of you was a comedian, one of you was a doctor? They were absolutely horrified because I was studying computer programming. So uh -huh. I had a future. <laughs> and I just decided, no, let me be a clown. <laughs> <laughs> so we shall see. Oh, darling, good luck. OK, excellent. Well, I'm at that age now, all my friends are getting married, and married people forget how horrible it is being single. They love to call me and complain about their couple problems. Always get, you're so lucky being single. I get home, my wife just starts nagging, nag, nag, nag. I'm like, hey, I have to nag myself. <laughs> I get home, I'm like, what time do I call this? <laughs> Why don't I ever do the dishes? Sometimes I think I don't appreciate myself. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't always been a comedian. I did some weird jobs. I used to clean houses, and I'll admit I was tempted to steal. <laughs> I didn't steal because the Bible says, thou shalt not steal, but nowhere does it say, thou shalt not swap. <laughs> <laughs> I took a stereo, left a Walkman. <laughs> took a plasma screen, left an etch -a sketch As I mentioned, I am from Africa. I moved here 10 years ago. And immediately I moved here, I heard a lot of British people talking about the financial crisis, the recession. I'm from Africa, what are you maniacs talking about? <laughs> you call that a crisis? If that's a crisis, where is UNICEF? <laughs> <laughs> where is Bono? <laughs> I have not seen one save the UK concert. <laughs> you can tell me it's a financial crisis when there are planes flying over Birmingham tossing fish and chips out the window. <laughs> it will be a financial crisis when there are ads on television saying this chav has to walk five miles a day. <laughs> to get a bottle of WKD Blue. <laughs> and 100%, you have got a financial crisis when India starts opening call centers here. <laughs> Can 
Can you imagine some poor guy in Mumbai calls his bank, ends up talking to a Brummy? <laughs> Thank you so much, Brummy. Laugh. It just kept on coming. And I really want you to win the entire series! Thank you, Thank you. I think you could. And I think you have a golden future. Oh, I thank do, you honestly. so much. I'm shocked and delighted. So am Great. I! <laughs> My face is hurting from laughing. I'm so pleased that Amanda pressed her golden buzzer for you. You are brilliant, and I cannot wait to hear more from you. Well Thank done. You so much. Thank you very much. You should be a comedy superstar. Yes. All the jokes were really original, and you are incredibly likable. I couldn't fault it. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, well, not only do I think you're an undiscovered little star, I could see you owning your own show. Thank you. What you did was so funny and naughty <laughs> and unique. This is why we make shows like this, to find people like you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. I heard there was a secret chord. David played and it pleased the Lord But you don't really care for music, do ya? Well, it goes like this The fourth, the fifth, the minor fall And the major lift, the baffle king Compurging, hallelujah Sounds great, doesn't it?
tell you what, that's a hell of an audition. Oh, Kyle. And you stood up there, you put your heart and soul on the line, and we all felt it, and we were all there with you. That was brilliant. You know, this just shows you, Kyle, when someone grinds you down and says, you're not good enough, you come back and you come back and look them in the eye and you go, I am good enough. Thank you. David, what did you think? I thought it was really good. <laughs> Well done. And you know what? You've sung with real passion. And that's what it's all about. Thank you so much. Thank you. You gave every single ounce you could possibly give to that performance. Well done. Well done. Kyle. It was a really, really moving performance, and I'm really glad you came back and proved me wrong. Thank you. <laughs> you like that? I really loved that. I really loved it. We will see you live in the studio. <laughs> oh, that is a dream. That's like a fairy tale, isn't it? Yeah. I am telling.
Oh, wow. Look, Sarah, I've heard this song a lot. And it started off really well. I thought, yeah, this girl's great. And then it's like you became possessed halfway through. It was quite incredible. And for someone of your age to stand on this stage with all the nerves and all the pressure to absolutely not just nail the song, you made it your song. Thank you. <laughs> That's what you want to hear. I'm absolutely thrilled that you got a gold buzzer. I mean, it was mind blowing. I couldn't believe that you were only 15. Congratulations. <laughs> You are not allowed to have that much talent at your age. It's insane. And I didn't press that golden buzzer because I wanted Simon to press that golden buzzer. Because I want you to go far, and I think Simon can help you because you are a superstar. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> David? Yeah, it was all right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it was fantastic, Sarah. Well done. Thank you so much. Most importantly, enjoy this. I'm thrilled for you and your family. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> been an amazing audience. Thank you very much. Simon Cowell's Golden Buzzer Act. How do you feel about that? That's a dream come true. Is it? He was the one. Yes. <laughs>